Thanks for watching this video on Accounts Class 11th. If you want to purchase the entire course, you can click the link in the description. Or if you're watching this on mobile, you can click this downward arrow link and you will get the link to purchase the entire course. In this video, I am going to explain to you about a ledger account or a T-shaped account. Now, all through the earlier videos, you saw as to how do you make journal entries. A ledger account is a T-shaped account wherein you name the heading. Let's go back. Let's say I were to make a ledger account of cash account. And I take this video as the example. Right? So I'm making a cash account. So you write the heading out here, cash account. Then the left hand side of this T-shaped account is the debit side, which is written as TR. And this is the credit side. So what happens is that a ledger is basically a compilation of lot of accounts. So on page one, you may have, let's say cash account. On page two, you may have some expense account. Page three, you may have capital account and so on. This page number, which we have, is also called the ledger folio. If you remember, all along, whatever discussions we've done, whatever journal entries we've done, we always write here LF. Now, the purpose is that a journal records all the entries on a day-wise basis, right? But suppose tomorrow I want to know what is the balance of cash which is lying with me on day one, right? How do I know that? Or let's say in the middle of the year, I want to know that. In that case, what I will need to do is I'll need to go through this entire set of journal entries to find out the position of cash. To solve this problem and analyze how a particular account is moving, we make a cash account. I mean, this is just for the sake of heading. Normally, the way it says is that you have an, and it depends. Now, let's say that accounts can be of two kind. One is asset plus liability. And the second could be expenses plus income. An account normally would have a balance, which is written as to opening balance, right? And this opening balance is there only in case of assets plus liabilities. Expenses normally don't have an opening balance. Even if they are in the nature of a deferred expense, that will qualify as an asset, right? This opening balance, if it is debit balance, will come on this side. If the opening balance is credit, it comes here. And you write as by opening balance. Put it out here. Then you keep on recording various transactions. Now you must have understood by now how journal entries move. So it says cash account debit to RENA account. So let's say this cash account was on folio number one, which is written here. So when you prepare your journal, you would write one here. The entry is cash account debit to RENA account. So you, the way it reads is cash account debited to RENA account, 10,000. So you would read it in a sequential manner cash account debited to rena account that's how you do the posting whereas if you see the second one it says drawings account debited to cash now cash over here is credited so that has to come on the credit side so you say buy instead of two on the credit side it is buy on the debit side it is two buy 
What is the corresponding account? The corresponding account is a drawings account. Well, incidentally, I haven't put in the balance out here. Let me put it. So you write it as buy drawings 10,000. Now, incidentally, both the debit and the credit side are 10,000. In a cash account, normally it cannot be negative, so the balance is always on the debit side. Let's say, assume this is 5,000. Once all the transactions are posted in an account, you do the sum total of two sides. Do it manually and put it on one side. So you do it here, it comes to 15,000. Here it comes to 10,000. Then you calculate the difference between the two. So the difference comes 15,000 minus 10,000 is 5,000. And which side is short? 5,000. Normally, the total of both these sides have to be same. So if this is 15,000, this has to be 15,000. And you put in a difference of 5,000 and you write it here as by balance carried forward. So just like this balance was brought forward, you carry forward this balance which will go and sit in the next year's account. So this T-shaped account is called a ledger. Right? In a ledger you would have the heading. On the left hand side you have debit. Right hand side you have credit. You may have an opening balance in case of assets and liabilities. Depending on whether it's an asset or a liability, the balance might come on the debit side or on the credit side. You use to understand cash account debit to RENA account 10,000, 10,000. This is how it comes. Take the balance, balance it out and you're done. Thanks for watching this video on Accounts Class 11th. If you want to purchase the entire course, you can click the link in the description. Or if you're watching this on mobile, you can click this downward arrow link and you will get the link to purchase the entire course.